Quasi too hot. All right, Jason here again. We've got the Impreza engine bay open. We're doing another mini gain for heat. What I've got here is a um, some braided line, three eighths, but it's actually like nine or 10 millimeter. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna bypass my throttle body coolant. The coolant acts as a heater to warm the throttle body in, you know, Arctic conditions, like, you know, That's sub zero beautiful. temperatures. Me living in California, you know, it's always sunny and stuff. It's dry. I don't think that I really need my throttle body heated, especially when you drive your car really, really hard. The uh, engine is really hot and the coolant, you know, gets the max temperature, which is for me at least around 210 or 212. Uh, degrees Fahrenheit, which is boiling, right, for water. And that coolant runs through uh, two lines here. There's one here, uh, here, and here. Um, it comes up from the block. I think it comes up at least from here. And it runs into this throttle body. Then it comes out of this line and it goes down uh, into here, this hose down here. Uh, so it's always constantly sending uh, coolant through the throttle body. Um, it's, act, it's meant for a de-icer. The throttle body should be very cold. And I've even heard that people that do drag strip stuff, uh, after like really hot runs, they'll put ice packs on their, their intakes and their uh, in intake manifolds just to keep it nice and cold for the next run. So the idea behind this modification is to not have that hot coolant coolant um, running through your throttle body because it doesn't need to be warmed or de-iced. I, I will say as a disclaimer is that if you do live in a very cold region that has sub-zero temperatures, it may be a good idea to keep it because it, it warms this uh, throttle body so that it doesn't get iced up. All right, so car started. Um, what happened was a little bit of coolant dribbled out when I was trying to pull out the, uh, the coolant line. It started just pumping out, even when the engine wasn't on. It started dribbling, blip, 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 blip. So I lost a little bit here, but it should be okay since my coolant level is, uh, is pretty good. It was overfilled uh, the last time I went to the dealership, so if I lost some, probably now okay the throttle body should remain cool and not have any coolant going through it yeah see this line here i can feel it it's actually warm so i've got my uh temp gauge out and i'm gonna hit that line there You know, 49 degrees Celsius. I just started the car, so it's warming up now. And then here, look at that, 28 degrees, 28.9 degrees. So in other words, if you had coolant running through this part of your throttle body, it would be at the temperature of that line there, 52 and up. And then once you drive it really hard, it actually ends up being, you know, boiling because that's how hot the coolant gets uh, when you're running the car really hard. Bypassing all of that heat in the throttle body uh, allows the throttle body to stay cool for a little bit longer. Uh, so you get, you know, a couple more minutes or maybe 20, 15 minutes longer. I don't know. It's hard to quantify, but... Basically, the intake will not be heat soaked as easily uh, when you bypass the throttle body uh, coolant. So that's the mod. We'll see how the intake temperatures uh, change uh, over time. Uh, and that's it from the Impreza. Boy, I'm going to leave that toy now because it's too hot.